Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Continuing with the Miniman series, I'm going to talk about an assault pack. This is not your bug out bag. This is not like your rucksack. This is a bag that is designed, um, and you're going to load it with what you need for that mission. Whatever mission it is, whatever the circumstance, um, this is a bag that's readily accessible to you that you can add contents, add some stuff to the contents, or take some stuff out. This is an assault bag. You don't want it like a huge, uh, large Alice or a large, large Molly ruck. This is a small ruck, and it can be of any type. It just needs to be uh, set up for the mission at hand, whatever it be. Uh, this is a small one. This is the one that was uh, well similar to what I was issued uh, when I got out of the military. This is an assault pack. You're going to fill it with stuff you need for the mission. Mission essential equipment. And there's a lot of stuff you could be putting in this bag. It's it's not to be totally loaded down with everything you're going to need. That's what your your rucksack is. Your rucksack is loaded with extra clothing, a lot of extra stuff. And your salt bag gets clipped to your rucksack. So that way when you need to do something, you have to go do an actual mission or accomplish a goal. You don't really want to be carrying your huge rucksack, but you take what you need to accomplish the task and that will fit inside your salt bag. <clears throat> the missions vary. It doesn't, you know, there's no set mission. You don't know what as a minute man you're going to need, but there's things that you might need to add to it. I mean, it could be you, you know you're going to have to breach some doors so you're going to need a, a battery ram. It might be you're going to do repelling or crossing a river. You're going to need some rope and some some D-rings. You might have to add a, a e-tool. You might have to be digging in or cutting fences, you need gloves, you might be dealing with CS gas, you might need a, a mask. All these things can change. Definitely this is where you'll carry your uh, cleaning kit for your firearm. Uh, definitely extra socks pretty much on any mission. Extra ammo and magazines. Maybe some hearing protection. Now some of this stuff can go in your your kit. The kit that you have on your body at all times. You might want to carry some extra first aid. Maybe some type of restraints. Definitely some food. I, I like MREs. I've eaten thousands upon thousands of them. Um, these are the brands that are made for civilians to purchase. Um, I got these from MealKitSupply.com. I'm going to do a review on them. and I'm going to compare these MREs um, to the military ones I eight uh, see if they're better see if they're worse so all these things are definitely Minuteman items but they all look military all look what I want you to also to have prepared is your gray man approach your civilian this is the a bag very similar to the assault bag and it can function very well but you can blend in you won't stand out so make sure you have a kit like this that where you can assemble you might not want to be in camouflage for that mission you might stand out if you're wearing this but if you're wearing this you might blend right in jeans a hat you might not want to carry a canteen inside your assault bag because it might look funny if you get stopped water bottles do the same thing so an assault bag is what you need for that mission as a Minuteman. It can be definitely camouflage if you're in the woods. Definitely this is what you want. If you're in an urban setting you need to blend in part of the time, this is what you want. When we first invaded Iraq, I was with the 101st Airborne, and the Iraqis were ditching their uniforms. They were going with civilians. A lot of them made the mistake though. They kept their boots or they kept their belt. They were easy to find clothes to change into, but for some reason belts and boots or footwear were not as common, so some of the Iraqi soldiers kept theirs. This was a giveaway for us, and we immediately detained these individuals and passed them up the, uh, the chain of command. I don't know what happened to them, they were probably questioned, but anyone caught that we thought could have been military that were trying to hide, telltale. The military belt, or the military boots we snagged them so remember that if you're gonna go this gray man approach absolutely nothing military 
you know, don't throw a canteen in here because this is a dead giveaway. Um, don't throw some MREs in there because, yes, that could give you away too. Throw some granola bars, some power bars, anything in the civilian world that we can purchase. This is your assault pack. Very important for the mission. You're going to tailor it to that individual mission so you make sure you have all your necessary equipment to accomplish your task. Thanks for watching.